You can turn this into this. And this into this. Yeah. The George Kenny School of Chainsaw Carving will show you how to magically transform firewood into art. But wait, there's more. If you call now, you get a free chainsaw. Come on, all that and a free chainsaw? Professor George says, you bet. Great sound, isn't it? Whoa, hang on, safety first. Before we start spewing sawdust, you gotta pay your dues in the classroom. My so, boss just told me to come home with all my fingers, so. yeah, Chainsaw carver that? wannabes so, Sherry and so Karen read from a textbook, listen to a lecture, and take notes, just like any other school. The safest place for your hands is right here. Here we go. After a brief break for lunch, that's when this particular school takes a decidedly different turn. There you go. Cool. Yeah! <laughs> The instruction continues, but the destruction has just begun. And then put the tip down and release the brake. Oh, there you go. George believes, like every log has an animal inside, every human has a carver waiting to emerge. My feeling is, is that if you can handle the saw, handle the equipment, you can carve. You can do this. He would know. George didn't even think he was an artist when he taught himself in this very spot. So I get out there and the guy says, how much, you know, what do you want for that bear? I says, you, you, I mean, what do you mean? That one? Yeah. You know, so I don't know, 20 bucks. 12 years after selling that first bear he ever made, this award-winning carver is passing along trade secrets to eager beavers. The school's only been up and running for a year and a half, but there's already a three-month waiting list. Manipulating this loud... <laughs> wild beast <laughs> in my hands. <laughs> These ladies are obviously having a hoot, but what about when they each get the $1,500 bill for the three-day course? It's not cheap, but if you share your work with other people, you make your profit back anyways. Exhibit A is the school's very first student, Lance Rigby. Two months after taking the course, he quit his house cleaning business and became a full-time carver. He was able to buy a house and now supports a family of four. And I just so desperately wanted to uh, look forward to getting up in the morning and going to work. At his office in front of the coffee shop, he specializes in eagles and says he cannot keep up with the demand. Lance says the six saws he now owns have done way more than his three college degrees. First time I've ever made a living uh, doing something that I've gone to school for. <laughs> On day one, students start by making a simple mushroom. But I was listening closely in class today, so let's see what I can come up with. Oh, yeah. Woo! Well, beginner's luck. Okay, so it's not that easy, but George does say after you graduate from class, you can make one of these. No question about it. They'll make a miniature bear on the, the end of the second day. George seems to have a way with the ladies. Good. Anytime I can save a mushroom, I'm a happy guy, you know. <laughs> More than half his students this year are female. These people are just doing it for fun and enjoyment. And, and yeah, they're going to make stuff. And if they wish to make money, they certainly can. So what is the difference between art and firewood? About an hour. <laughs>